Well, as you know, the courts give the media very limited access when it comes to cases involving juveniles. In this particular case, cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom. Uh, reporters were not even allowed to sit in on the hearing. Uh, but we do know that this case appears to be tied to something much larger because instead of the state court uh, prosecuting this case, uh, we're told it is headed to the U.S. Attorney's Office. So here is what we know so far. We know these two shootings happened uh, back in March. Uh, the first one was at a Chili's restaurant, March 26th. Uh, a man was wounded. The second happened just hours later at the Salerno Luxury Rentals in Otay Ranch around 1.30 a.m. Uh, two 15-year-old boys were arrested and accused of shooting a 24-year-old man in the face. Now, that man survived. However, there was another victim who died. Now, the big thing that Chula Vista police stressed at the time was this was not a random attack. So it sounds like the suspects and the victims knew each other. Uh, meanwhile, there were questions about whether or not this uh, was cartel related. The district attorney's office wouldn't comment on if they were all connected. However, D.A. Summer Steffen said publicly that the influence in crime committed by cartels has been and continues to be a serious issue in our county as it has been for many years. We are expecting some new information to come out from uh, the dist district attorney's office uh, sometime today. We're hoping very soon. Uh, meanwhile, we did reach out to the U.S. attorney's office for comment, uh, but so far have not heard back. Kelly Hessett, all CBS 8.